What if you had animal ears? By Sandra Markle and illustrated by Howard McWilliam. What if one day when you woke up, the ears on your head were yours? What if overnight a wild animal's ear took their place? Jackrabbit. Look at that. A jackrabbit's ears are extra long and full of blood vessels. They are perfect for giving off body heat, so the jackrabbits stay cool on hot days. Fact. A jackrabbit's big ears are super sound scoops. It can hear sneaky predators like coyotes and foxes in time to top away fast. If you had jackrabbit ears, you'd look taller so you could ride roller coasters sooner. Tasmanian Devil A Tasmanian Devil's normally pale pink ears blush red when it's excited or upset, like when it's fighting other, other uh, devils for food or when a predator like an owl f uh, flies close. Look at that. That's the inside of his ear. And the fact is, a Tasmanian devil's king hearing can detect sound as much as a half mile away. If you had Tasmanian devil ears, you'd never miss a secret. But your ears would always give away if what you heard upset you. Eurasian Red Squirrel. A Eurasian Red Squirrel's year change with the seasons. Its year's uh, tufts, like its fur coat, grow thicker and longer just in time for cold winter weather. Oh, look at those babies. Fact. Eurasian Red Squirrels are born naked. They don't get their first fur coat and year uh, tufts until they are about 21 days old. Ooh, snow angels. If you had your raisin red squirrel ears, you could play in the snow without earmuffs or a hat and still have toasty warm ears. Koala. A koala's big round ears are completely covered with fuzzy, oily hair. This protects them from hot sunshine and chilly winds. Plus, raindrops run off so, so fast that their ears stay dry on the inside. Ooh, look at that, mama and baby. Fact. Scientists discover female koalas choose the loudest male in the area when they mate and have babies. For koalas, uh, being loud usually means they are strong and healthy. If you had koala ears, you could style your ear hair. Uh, then you'd be sure to turn head and start a wild trend. Okapi. An okapi's big ears each move separately, perfect for listening in two directions at once. So while dining on leaves in a forest, an okapi listens in every direction for predators like leopards. Fact. An okapi's tongue is so long it's able to lick its ears clean inside and out. If you had okapi ears, you could easily listen in two directions at once, so no one would ever be able to sneak up and surprise you. Townsend's big eared bat. A Townsend's uh, Towns Townsend's big eared bat ear makes tiny sounds louder. This way, they can hear flying moth and mosquitoes even when they can't see them, which helps with night hunting. Once close. This bat uses its wings and tail to sweep the insect out of their out of the air and into its mouth. Look at it. 
close up. And a fact. While flying, a town sends a big geared bat, makes high-pitched noises, and listens for echoes. That's how it senses buildings and trees to avoid crashes. If you had town said town town sends big ear bats ear, you'd never need insect repellent. You'll hear mosquitoes in time to catch them or swat them away. African elephant, an African elephant has uh, the world's biggest ears. Each year is as big as six feet long and four feet wide. Besides giving off body heat, they flap so elephants can create their own cool breeze. Fact: African elef- elephants make and hear very deep rumbles. These sounds are below what human ears can hear. But an elephant can hear another elephant more than two miles away. If you had elephant ears, you'd never need a windy day to launch a kite. You could just flap your ears. Great horned owl. A great horned owl's outer ear are just holes surrounded by feathers. The right opening is slightly higher than the left. That little difference is enough for sounds to reach one ear first, and that lets the owl home in on fast food like mice. And rabbits. Fact: What look like ears are just tufts of feathers, but may silently show feelings, lowered when upset and raised when checking something out. If you had great horned owl ears, you'd quickly pinpoint sounds, so you'd be a, a star at playing. Marco Polo. Philippine tazir. A Philippine tazir's ear hear high pitched sounds. One way to high for uh one one way one's way too high for human and most other animals, and they can make super high pitched squeaks too, just like code. Uh, Tazirs use uh, these sounds to talk to each other without attracting hunters like owls. Fact: A Philippine tazir's、uh, paper-thin ears are nearly always moving. They are searching for sound that will let them find insect meals like termites and crickets. If you had Philippine To Zier's ears, you could listen to high-pitched music, like、uh, played as loud as you like, and no one else would even notice. Serval, a serval's a serval's ears have ice ice spot-like markings on the back. These let serval kittens easily track and follow their mother through tall grass, and keen hearing lets the serval. Know just where to pounce to catch a mouse. Fact: Our cervell's inner ear lets it stay balanced to land on its feet, even when it leaps as high as a standard basketball hoop to slap a bird to the ground. If you had cervell ears, you would be so easy to spot. You'd lead every class trip, and even if you jumped high to peek over a wall, you'd always land on your feet. Meerkat. A meerkat's ear have muscles to seal the opening shut. That's great for keeping their ears clean while digging up food like beetle grubs or mole rats. Fact. Meerkats bark different alarm. Uh, calls for predators on the ground, and it, and in the air. Hearing the ground alarm sends meerkat running. The other makes them freeze, so they are harder to spot from above.
If you had meerkat ears, your ears would stay clean even when you play in the mud. Wild animal years could be fun for a while, but you don't need your years to cool off or stir up a breeze. And you never use your years to find your dinner or stand out in a crowd. So if you could keep wild animal years for more than a day, which kind would be right for you? Luckily, you don't have to choose. Your years will always be people years. They'll be what you need to hear, music playing, birds chirping, and people talking. Plus, they, they'll they be just what you need to hold back your hair or prop up your glasses. What's special about your years? Your years work with your brain to help you hear. Your outer ear catches sound. Sound are really waves of moving air. Once inside your ear, the air bumps in, uh, into the eardrums. Each bump pushes the three tiny bones in the middle ear, and that pushes past to the fluid-filled part of your inner ear, making tiny hair-like cells move. These cells send signals to the brain almost at once. The brain checks out the signal, and you hear a sound. This is the picture. Now, your ears also work with your brain to give you a sense of balance. Your inner ear has fluid-filled loops. Move your head and the fluid inside the loop sloshes. Then the liquid slops against cells that send signal to your brain. Almost at once, the brain checks out those signals and you sense your body is moving. If you stop super quick, the liquid may keep sloshing and you'll feel like you are still moving. Keep your ears healthy. Your ears need special care. Here are tips for taking care of your ears. Don't play music, movie, or games very loud. Wear something to guard your hearing in really noisy places like motorsports events. Wear a helmet anytime you could hit your head, like when you're riding your bike, rollerblading, or skiing. Uh, never poke anything into your ears. Only a doctor should treat an ear problem.